past couple of days, I've been thinking of reviewing some new gaming laptops that have been released in the market. And now that I finally landed over this laptop, let's see if we'll be impressed with this device or if it will eventually kill our expectations. So this is my review on the MSI Katana 15. Let's get started. The first thing you can see is the Core i7-13620H, a 10-core 16-thread CPU with 6 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. So it's basically an updated version of the 12650H. You can expect it to slide in between the 12650H and 12700H in terms of performance. Following that is the RTX 4050 with 6GB VRAM, which means 2GB more VRAM as compared to the 3050. Plus it now comes with frame generation, so obviously will perform much better. And an assumable 105W of max TGP, but in reality it doesn't go beyond 85W. Moving up there is a 16GB of DDR5 single channel RAM with a frequency of 5200MHz. And as expected from MSI is upgradable up to 64GB. Storage is taken care of by 1TB of M.2 NVMe Zen 4 SSD. And there is also an empty slot. Both of these slots are upgradable up to 2TB each, which means a total of 4TB of SSD storage. So an absolute beast in terms of upgrading option. And last but not the least, for connectivity it has Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6. Alright, so let's talk about build and design. When it comes to the MSI Katana 15, the devil is in the details. And there are plenty of details to appreciate. From the several inscriptions and the engraved MSI logo on the top cover. One of the first thing you'll notice is how sturdy the top cover feels. And there is very little flex which is a sign of excellent build quality. And when you open the lid, you'll be greeted with a vent pattern. And let's not forget about the back of the laptop. The honeycomb design on the vent not only looks cool, but it also serves a practical purpose of improving the cooling system. Speaking of which, MSI claims the cooling system has been improved significantly from the previous model. And we are eager to put it to the test. But perhaps the most most impressive thing about the MSI Katana is how solid the keyboard feels. There is a very minimal flex, which is an indicator of overall build quality. And when you combine that with the other design details, you get a laptop that looks and feels like it means business. The MSI Katana 15 is a laptop that offers a full-sized keyboard with 4-zone RGB. Numpad is slightly smaller than usual and it's hard to tell why MSI didn't choose a full-width keyboard. There are several keys that are smaller than usual, especially the numeric keypad. We are generally left with a rather strange and inconvenient keyboard arrangement. The right shift key is much smaller. The FN key is in an absurd place. The trackpad is on a smaller side. It is still usable and smooth to operate in everyday tasks. However, a large trackpad would be better. The MSI Katana boasts an arrow of ports on its sides, providing a decent selection for its users. However, it's worth noting that some of this port may seem outdated in 2023. The left side, you'll find a power input, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port and a USB 2.0 Gen 1 Type-A port, while the inclusion of USB 2.0 port may raise eyebrows. It still offers reliable connectivity for various peripherals. On the right side, it offers a RJ45 LAN port, an HDMI 2.1 port that support up to 4K 120Hz and 8K 60Hz on an external monitor. Additionally, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port is available which support DisplayPort 1.4. Worth noting, however, that it does not support power delivery and Thunderbolt 4 port. I think these ports will be more than enough for most users. But some may find that they fall short of 2023 standards. When it comes to the display, the panel is a decent choice for those who are looking for a laptop that can handle casual use and gaming. This 15.6-inch display is not the best option for those who are looking for editing works and designing. The IPS level panel covers around 65% of sRGB color gamut, which is more than enough for streaming and watching movies. Despite this, the display still offers satisfactory viewing experience with a traditional design. That features a slightly larger top bezel, MSI branding on the bottom bezel and smaller bezels on left and right side. Sadly, the panel's quality is somewhat low. Display brightness at about 250 nits falls short of the competition. Even the response time is also low for a gaming laptop. Katana 15 mostly runs silent when doing simple tasks, but that's not the case always. The device runs relatively louder when cooling at about 40 decibels. This increases to a maximum of 59 decibels when loaded, which are loud for sensitive ears but are typical for a gaming laptop. The speakers are comparatively loud but lack bass. Instead, gamers would reach for a good headset to make the noise inaudible. Now let's talk about the 53 watt hour battery that we get inside this laptop. On basic uses such as day to day tasks, 50% screen brightness and RGB turned off, the battery backup is around 1.5 hours, which is not good. However, considering it's a gaming laptop and the battery capacity, the battery backup is fine. Now sit back and relax and don't worry about experiencing sweaty palms and using the Katana 15 because the area where you rest your hands stay cool even during demanding tasks. The CPU and GPU thermals are also well under limit when gaming, so the temperature isn't a problem to worry about. 
Now, if you are ready to get somewhat more technical, why not talk about the Core i7-13620H. This is a mid-range processor that is a part of cool-sounding Raptor Lake H series. And it's got all the power you need to run your favorite games and apps. But don't let its size fool you. It may only have 4 smaller E cores, but it got all the 6 performance cores. And you know what they say, size doesn't matter, it's how you use it. Speaking of power, the 13620H has a typical TDP of 45 watt, but that can vary depending upon the laptop. Now if you are curious about how i7-13620H performs, I have got some benchmarks for you. In the popular benchmarking tool, the Cinebench R23, this CPU got a multi-core score of 15,496 points and a single core score of 1805. So what does that mean? Well basically the core i7-13620H is like 12650H but on steroids. According to PCMark10, this processor has a score around 7500 which is not bad at all. And when it comes to the 3 d Mark Time Spy, 13 h got a score of over 12000 with a GPU score of around 7800. In Blender 3.3 GPU benchmark test, it earned a score of around 2800 which is excellent. So this GPU is the best option for you if you are searching for a laptop for 3D rendering and modeling activities. The new RTX 4050 now supports frame generation which can significantly improve the gaming experience by inserting the extra frames in between the existing frames resulting in a smoother and more fluid gaming experience. Now the games were tested at 1440p resolution with graphics set to ultra. In Atomic Heart an average FPS of 63 without frame generation which increased to the 77 FPS with frame generation on. Similarly, in Hogwarts Legacy, the average FPS jumped from 61 to 66 with frame generation. These results demonstrate a significant improvement over the RTX 3050. RDR2 is a GPU intensive game, it does not currently support frame generation. However, even without this feature, the RTX 4050 performed on par with the 140 watt RTX 3060 while consuming only 85 watt. This suggests that the RTX 4050 is highly power efficient. In Cyberpunk 2077, with graphics set to maximum, the RTX 4050 achieved an average FPS of 41 without frame generation, which increased to 59 with frame generation. This is a significant improvement on performance. Finally, the Far Cry 6, which does not yet support frame generation. Despite this, the RTX 4050 delivered impressive results. Based on this benchmark test, it's evident that the RTX 4050 is a high-performing graphic card that can handle even the most demanding game with ease. The results of the benchmark speak for themselves. So if you are in market for high performing graphic card, that won't disappoint you. The RTX 4050 is definitely worth considering. So overall the MSI Katana 15 is a true powerhouse when it comes to gaming and it definitely lives up to its name. However, like any other sword, the MSI Katana 15 has its flaws. The display can be a bit lackluster with low brightness level, subpar color coverage and 144Hz display in place of 165Hz. While the USB 2.0 port may have been fine in the past, it started to feel a bit outdated in 2023. Keyboard layout is also a bit weird, with some keys in unexpected places, making it a bit of a challenge to get used to. Despite its shortcoming, the MSI Katana 15 is still a powerful laptop that's sure to impress. Just be aware of its limitations, rather don't invest your money on this. There are surely overall much better options for same price or less. Also, a lot of laptops with newest hardware are still on their way. Now, it's not the best time to buy the 13th generation Intel, 7th generation AMD and 4000 series NVIDIA components. Better to wait or stick with the laptops from previous year. And that's wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. If you want to buy this laptop or any other variant of this, then you can find the best buying links in the description box down below. Make sure to check them out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I will see you in the next one. Stay awesome, keep spreading positive vibes. Peace out. And I start to clap.